How's it going everyone? South Bay Rebel here and got something a little different for you all today. I picked up this Ninjago set for, I don't know, maybe eight or nine bucks. I think I needed free shipping for something and I threw this into my cart to get to that threshold. Ninjago is something that's always interested me, but it's not something I go out of my way to collect. But it is still intriguing and I do still like the aesthetic of the whole ninja vibe. So I figured why not pick this up? For under $10, getting four minifigures is a pretty good deal for new LEGO stuff, so I thought this was a no-brainer. Now this set only has 78 pieces, but that does include the four minifigures and also a small mech. So we'll start off with the mech, and it's decent enough. I think given the limited piece count in this set, we can't expect too much, and it wasn't really the big draw for me anyways. I really got this set for the figures, but it's kind of a nice to have bonus that they've got this in there. And given the fact that it is limited on its pieces, it still looks pretty decent anyways. Without a minifigure in there, it doesn't look like much, but once you get Jay inside, it starts to tie it together and look a lot better. And I do like the playability features on this mech. Small as it may be, it comes with some decent articulation. It's got a couple shooters even on that left hand, a nice big sword in the other hand, and I like that tassel on the end of it. It's uh, kind of hard to resist messing around with that just to see it swinging around a little bit there. It's just fun. And I think they've got one on the weapon for Lloyd as well, but we'll get to that in a little bit. There's a nice printed piece on the front of the torso. As we work our way around to the other sides of the mech, you see that there are two hooks on the back for you to place the two gold swords that come with Jay, which is also nice. And the front of the mech opens up and is hinged so that you can take the minifigure in and out, which is nice. Looking at Jay himself now, solid looking minifigure. I like the two different face prints on his head. One with the mask having the shadow around the eyes and the other just a normal face. I think he looks best with the mask on. And here he is with his two swords. He's got printing on the front and legs as well as some nice back printing. And this set also includes Lloyd, which is looking awesome too. I really like the hair bandana sculpt piece on this figure and the back printing is pretty solid as well. And then there's a look at that back printing for Jay. They look really cool and I like these figures. I think they make the set worth it in its own right. And the fact that this set comes with two more figures on top of this is again, just kind of a bonus, especially for that price point being under 10. This here is a wolf mask warrior, they called it, and then a wolf mask guard and I think that just boils down to the different face prints and whatever faction they are in the Ninjago line. Uh, I think they both look cool. They have alternate face prints on the back of those heads, and I think those heads are the same. It's just the rest of the figure that's slightly different. Taking a closer look at Jay now, again, you got that nice printing on the face, and the eyes are super interesting. I like those eyes. And looking at Lloyd, I really appreciate the detail on the torso printing. Even the back looks good, and he's got a couple different face prints of his own as well. Now, removing the mask and hood from the guard and warrior figures, there's the same face print for both of them. I like the addition of the claws and also the shoulder armor on the first one here, but obviously it looks best with that cool wolf mask. I really like that. It's a nice piece. I don't know if it's unique to this set, but it's definitely got the cool factor. And then the other one is just kind of a basic guard. Same getup on the torso, just with a hood instead of that wolf mask. So cool figures. I think all four of them are nice in their own right. I think it's a no brainer to pick up this set for $9.99. And I think I even found it on sale on Amazon at one point, which is when I picked it up. So whether you're in Ninjago or not, I think this is a cool set for the price and you might want to branch out and explore. I picked it up. I'm not really into Ninjago so much, but I appreciate it for what it is. 
and I'm gonna hold on to it. I think I like these figures enough to keep them in my collection and even put them on display. The mech, maybe not so much, but the figures definitely worth the 10 bucks. I mean, that's basically 250 a figure, so why not? And with that, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Until the next time, I will catch you on the flip side.